What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I am bringing you guys kind of a similar video that I did for the Sephora Appreciation Sale what? The Sephora Appreciation Sale. I am going to be talking about what is in my loves list, what is in my favorites list, what is in my cart for the Ulta Beauty Sale. Um, as you guys know, the sale is going to be happening September 2nd to the 22nd. During that sale, they basically bring particular items and they give them, they give it to you for 50% off. In addition, they also have hot buys, which I believe it has a maximum of 40% off. Now, I know a lot of videos are coming out where they're particularly going through all of the items that are going to be on sale so i didn't want to do that i kind of wanted to talk about what's in my favorites what's in my baskets what do i want to purchase um in addition i did want to point out that so ulta has just dropped a 20 percent off coupon so <laughs> um so i already have a basket ready for that you know yeah you know um i don't know if my wallet is ready for that but we're just gonna keep pushing through so I'm not gonna sit here and like I said talk to you guys about what is on sale each day there are plenty of videos I will try and even link some down below that I have personally watched because I do like to watch them I like to see what people recommend what they don't um but yeah I'm just gonna do it my way and my way is to go through my favorites so I don't have I have a good amount of favorites but not too much um, I'm gonna start off with those and then I will go into what is in my cart which I most likely will be purchasing with that 20% off coupon um, and I will be hauling my Sephora VIB soon but honestly guys I did not do a huge sale order so yeah all right let's go i did the peter tom in my loves list is the peter thomas roth i have two masks from him i have the pumpkin enzyme mask and the cucumber gel mask i love both of these masks i got a sampler set I think they had five or six masks and these were the two that st stood out to me the pumpkin inside mask is a really good one it has um graduals that are really nice to exfoliate your skin I really did like that and the cucumber gel mask was really good when my skin was dry it really helped to hydrate it it really helped to hydrate it so that those are some good things next i have a cream matte eyeliner from dose of color the shade that i have is win in rome it's like a dusty marsala it's a really interesting color i have a little collection of um cream gel eyeliners and i like to use them it just kind of depends on how i'm feeling in the day lately i haven't used them but i do tend to use them especially when i do my more bright looks because that's kind of the shades that i have they're more bright next i have two mac lipsticks and they're both in the matte formula one is heroin which is like a bright purple and then the other one is a dark blue and it's called matte royal and it's described as a deep blue so those are two matte mac matte lipsticks that i have next i have the mac prep and prime mattifying spray i just want to try it i did just purchase the mac prep and prime fix plus um just the normal version when i was at mac store with my mom um and i kind of want the mattifying version i've seen a lot of videos a lot of people say it works so i just want to try it and see how it works on my skin next i have the covergirl vitalist healthy elixir foundation i loved this foundation this was a beautiful everyday foundation it was definitely light to medium buildable coverage it worked for my complexion I really did like this I flew through the bottle and I would just love to get it back in my collection but I'm not in like a rush to get it next I have the baked gelato swirl illuminator from Laura Gella I just want to try the formulation I don't really have a preference on what shade it is I just want to try the formulation because I hear a lot of really good things about that one also I wanted to try the dose of color supreme glow highlighter I thought it was really interesting I have a particular color it's called Mel Melanade 
melonade yes it's a coral pink i thought it was a really cool color it'd be interesting to try it we shall see next i have the mac extra dimension bronzing powder in mirage noir i figured this would be a perfect highlighter for me and since it's a limited edition collection i'm just waiting for it to go on sale to be honest and then i'll scoop it up um next is the mac mineralized skin finish pinwheel this is the more peachy orangey one in this shade perfectly lit it's the mid-tone core mid-tone pinky coral quad so i'm interested in that one i thought that would be a really beautiful glowy blush so i wanted to try that next i have one of the vivid um <clears throat> vivid and one of the vivid and vibrant eyeshadow duels from stila i have two in my um favorites uh one is an amethyst and the other one i believe is jade jade why am i trying to be fancy jade um yeah and the other one's jade i did watch the fancy faces um swatch video which i will link down below she swatches out all of the items in that that new collection and i kind of just picked out three items that were interesting to me and then i also picked out a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow and this one's in vivid sapphire so those are the three items from that collection that i was interested in next i have the all-nighter waterproof setting powder i love the all-nighter setting proof spray which is somewhere around here and i just wanted to try the powder because i have been really into pressed powders lately next i have a luminous skin next i have a shimmering skin perfector luminous brush blush from becca this one is in tiger lily i have I did just purchase the Snapdragon one um, because I've been more into luminous blushes, especially during the summer and spring. I have put this on my face and I'm not going to hold you up. I was slightly disappointed. I'm going to try a couple different brushes. I've only tested this out once, but with the one brush that I tried, it was very sheer and I had to build it up. And even then, it wasn't even that all that so depending on how this one works i may or may not get a couple other of these luminous blushes next i went through a concealer situation where i just wanted to add all the concealers that ulta order has so i have the ultimate coverage longwear concealer from becca i have the Too faced born to born this way super coverage multi-use sculpting concealer i have the smashbox studio skin 24 hour wear waterproof concealer i have the Too faced born this way naturally radiant concealer the nars radiant creamy concealer and the becca aqua luminous perfecting concealer now out of all these concealers, the first two that I talked about, which is the Becca Ultimate Coverage and the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use, those two are um, full coverage. I don't need a full coverage concealer. I actually usually don't like them because they're too thick. They're too much on my under eyes. I have dry under eyes, so I like to have more luminous, medium coverage. Um, so honestly, I might not even get those two. Um, what I'm really aiming towards getting is the Too Faced born this way naturally radiant and the becca aqua luminous i think those two concealers would be really good to add in my collection to test them out i am currently panning two concealers their drugstore it's the maybelline age rewind and the maybelline fit me they're both basically on their last leg to be honest this one i had to scrape today this one you can see how much product is left so I am getting there all the other concealers I have I love so I mean I just kind of like to test out new concealers every once in a while right now I'm in a testing mood so yeah that's all I have in my favorites list um not honestly that much um and honestly I go through and weed out my favorites list a lot and I've been going through and purchasing stuff from my favorites list a lot this year to you know get it lowing get it lowing to reduce the size of it so what's in my cart i have uh two morphe brushes which i know morphe brushes i know i know 
but I'm going to try them. I have one which is the Deluxe Pointed Powder Brush. I really want this for bronzer. I want a stiffer bronzer brush, one that will really pick up a lot of product and apply a lot of a product. I find that these bronzers that are really close to my skin tone, if I could get a brush that really picks up a lot of product, maybe they'll show up a little bit more. So that's why I'm interested in that br brush. The next one is the M44 for deluxe definition buffer brush this is a brush that i was interested in because i saw it in a bh cosmetics brush set and i didn't want to get the whole brush set just for that brush so i was interested in getting that next i have one of the tutti frutti duos i do have already have one uh, it's over in a different section of my room but i do i'm not going to say how i like it but I do have another one. This one is the apricot and I thought this would be a little bit more of like a nude neutral. I don't really have a lot of a nudie neutral brown shade. So I would love to add that to my collection. Next I have the Sunlit Bronzer in Maui Nights. Y'all know what it is. I want it for my bronzer hunt. So we'll see if I get that. Next I want the ABH Dream Glow Kit. And... Every video, without fail, I drop something. Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so let's put that in the middle of the table. Um, and the only reason I'm hesitating on getting the Dream Kit, hopefully I have the picture right here, is because I feel like, I feel like it's similar, really close to this, but I probably can make a plea for it to be different. I don't know. I will probably get it. I've been wanting it. You know okay so next I have two concealers one is the Maybelline super stay better skin concealer I have it in medium deep I'm hoping it's darker dark for my complexion it's not gonna be too light because that's kind of what happened with the other two Maybelline concealers that I got next I have two Ulta products which is the Ulta full coverage liquid concealer a lot of people have been raving about that concealer so I just wanted to try it out and then also the Ulta demi matte foundation so I am interested in what just happened I am interested in trying out all of those items I will most likely be making it, making this purchase I mean it's just a matter of pressing the button but I have to kind of wait a little while you know this is only the first week of my pay week and so I need I, at least wait till the second week I've already made some damage so let's wait till the second week even it out a little bit um but yeah that is kind of my 21 days of beauty type situation i know none of those items are on sale not a one the only things that would be on sale are the ultra stuff um but everything else and nothing is on sale so that's why i'm going to be only purchasing during the 20 percent off sale or the 20 that's why i'm going to be purchasing with the 20 percent off coupon i am not going to be buying anything in the 21 days of beauty sale nothing is interesting the only thing let me let me caveat this the only thing i might purchase is an ofra highlighter let me show you guys wait wait Mwah. I purchased on Holt Look one of the Ofra highlighters. This one's in Rodeo Drive, and I have not hauled this, y'all. This will look so dark and like, ooh, yes, bronzy. Child, no, this is icy as I don't know what. This is the swatch. That's it, just swatched, and now I'm going to blend it into my skin. So this is the highlighter on my complexion. Don't get me wrong, I was rocking this on my face yesterday. Beats. You know, it would be nice to have a highlighter from them that is actually like, you know, like something that normal people will wear, not just something that my crazy behind would wear. You know what I mean? So I'm hoping that darker shades are offered. I thought Rodeo Drive was one of their darker shades, to be honest. But what I'm going to do, I might get the, what is it? The Beverly Hills. That's the one with like the five shadows or the five shades. I might get that one. And then I think there's another one 
that is a little bit deeper than this one please please guys let me know down in the comments if you have an Ofra highlighter and you're my skin complexion you know chocolatey chalk let me know down below what highlighter works for you so that I can try and get that one I would like to have an Ofra highlighter that actually works for me don't get me wrong I'm a rock this but you know sometimes I don't want to be that insane and I don't want to look like I have coke on my face okay okay so I mean I think that's the, all that I have to say in this video um yeah definitely let me know what you guys are going to be getting if you're going to be shopping the 21 days of beauty or if you're only going to be using the 20 percent off coupon let me know maybe you'll be doing both shine for us shine like a diamond I'm tired getting real weird okay let me leave it has been real y'all <laughs> peace